Guys, I messed up again. My mind so scattered and confused like I was destined to screw up and lose, always trying to forgive when I know I will never forget. One day, I tried to keep my thoughts at bay. I prioritized to stay organized, but I could not escape the voice that begged me to stay. In an effort to be healthy, I chose to eat on my throne, which is really just my bunk bed. <laughs> Every bite felt like a fight against my life. I gave up and decided to skip the meal. Once I began my descent down my throne, my hands gave way, and like a scene from a movie, the bowl tossed and turned, seconds passing while my stomach churned. I failed to save my rice and chicken bowl, <laughs> so I merely watched as it marinated my bedroom floor. Of course, this had to happen today. The day I decided to be responsible, no words could describe my emotions in this moment. I just walked to the kitchen, placed the bowl on the, on the counter, and grabbed the nearest dustpan and broom. I thought one thorough sweep would be enough to clean these pesky grains of, of rice, but I was wrong. You know, it feels like I'm always wrong these days. When I spilled the wasted rice in the trash and returned to my room, the crunchy sensation underneath my feet left me weak. The remaining grains that were lying on the floor were too discreet for the broom to sweep. I decided to pick the rest by hand, Grain by grain, bit by bit, I picked and picked, thinking it wouldn't be long before they were all gone. But one after another, they multiplied and spawned. I picked and wiped and picked and wiped, but every time, there would always be another grain on the floor. Every time I used my palm to swipe the floor, another grain would suddenly appear in the same spot near the door, even though my bed isn't even near the door. I tried to clean it all, but these grains outnumbered my patience and left me strained. I can't take this anymore, why? Every day I try to pick up the grains of my past mistakes bit by bit. I try to get my life back together, but I'm outnumbered and dragged through the trenches like a feather. These tiny beige grains of rice scattered along my bedroom floor. They'll never be together again. But I still foolishly believed that I had a chance. I told myself, I can fix this. Give me a chance. I can fix her. Stop lying to yourself. It will take weeks before I can clean up all these scattered grains. What happens if they attract more problems like roaches and other critters of unwanted origin? What will I do when these tiny imposters intrude on my personal space? Yeah, will I cry and curse my own life? Will I kill the critters and forgot, forget that they ever caused me strife? Or will I stare into their beady little eyes as they indulge in my lost grains? I don't know anymore. All I want to do is cry. These tiny grains have pushed me past my limit. Tiny grains of innocence mixed with a diverse array of setbacks. I can't tell if I'm crying over my mistakes or the stress of my life. One good day, one good day of calm, serenity, and bliss with no screw-ups or troubles galore. I just, want to, I just want to feel some peace within my soul. But instead, I drop my rice and chicken bowl on the floor, and I'm coping with tears and philosophical revelations. Why does my mind work this way when I'm stressed? My current status on life is like this simple, delectable bowl of rice. It was beautifully crafted to be enjoyed, but one single misplaced finger forced it to spiral down to the floor. The grains of rice once held together in that slick bowl of beauty are now scattered and separated by an unexpected detour in my fate. I tried to piece the struggles of my bowl back together, grain by grain, bit by bit, but in the unstable state I was in with tears in my eyes and responsibilities I absolutely despised, I had to accept that I couldn't bring these, those pieces of myself back together. I'm not the same person I was back then. I've grown, so it's time I let go of these stains. As a person born with many, and I mean many, imperfections, I know I can't fix every mistake I make in this short life. I get that I will never fully erase these problems in one sitting, so I'll just take my time. Bit by bit, piece by piece, I'll clean up every grain that remains and make a new bowl of rice to maintain. Thank you.